In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how you can add color to this monogram font in Affinity Programs. You can start with text like this and make it look like this. You can search the web for free monogram fonts and find one you like. I'm here on Creative Fabrica. I'll just search for one here. So I'll type monogram fonts and I'll hit enter. And if I scroll through, we can see lots of cool results. Lots of nice styles here. I like this one butterfly monogram. So let's click on that. I'll put a link in the description down below. And if we click on the thumbnail, we can see it has all the letters of the alphabet. I'll click download. And now that the font downloaded, I'll install it. So I'll click install. Now I'm here in Infinity Designer and I just copied the thumbnail for the font here as a reference. Let's try to recreate it. I'll click the artistic text tool. Let's drag a letter. Let's type B and let's choose the font. So with the letter selected, let's choose a font and it was called Flower Butterfly. So it's right here, let's click on it. And you can see it's pure black. We can change the color. We can even add a gradient. So I'll select the gradient. We can make it look like different colors here, but still doesn't look as good as this over here. How do we get this cool painted effect over here? Well, we can paint on our text using pixel brushes. Now I'm using Affinity Designer. So to do that, I'll go to the pixel persona over here. Pixel persona, I'll click on that. But in Affinity Photo, you can just do this in the default photo persona. So I have my letter here, B. Let's create a pixel layer above it. So I'll click this button, add pixel layer. And now I can select a brush. Let's choose some interesting brush. This round chalk brush sounds interesting. I'll select red. Now what I could do is try to paint exactly on my letters here. I could go into the B and try to paint it exactly. I could change the color, get something like that going. Of course, this is very tedious. A much better way is to clip our pixel layer into the text. Let me show you how that works. First, let me undo this painting. Now I'm still in my pixel layer here. If I paint a stroke across my image, watch what happens. That's not very surprising, but watch what happens if I drag my pixel layer into the text layer. I'll click on the pixel layer. I'll click and drag it and then I'll let go. Now you can see my paint is being contained inside my text. In other words, the paint layer is being clipped into the text layer. And you can see the pixel layer is nested under it. And I can continue to paint on my pixel layer here. Now let me show you a mistake you may have made. I'll drag the pixel layer out again. Now what you want to make sure you do is not drag the pixel layer onto the thumbnail of your text. So if I take the pixel layer and drag it over the thumbnail, that does something different. It's a valid operation, but it's not what we want to do in this case. So I'll press Control Z. When you drag the pixel layer, make sure you let go over the part that contains the name here. So I'll click and I'll let go here. And now the text is contained. Now I can also erase my paint. So I'll select the eraser over here and I'll erase the paint. If you want to have a base beginning layer, you can change the color of your font still. So maybe I want it to be this red pink here. I'll select that. And now my text has this base color here, but I can still go back to the pixel layer, select my brush and paint into it. You can use all sorts of brushes and experiment. If you're in Affinity Photo, you might want to use the paint mixer brush. If you want to know how that tool works, I'll put a link to my video in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.